Oh, hi, it's me, Mullet. You know, I used to host Mullet's Night Show. It was my very own late night talk show. Have you been on another talk show before? <laughs> <laughs> we do this once a month, so yeah. we kind of know how it works. Uh, yeah, I've been on um, a couple. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, not, not, nothing uh, that runs like this. <laughs> and it was live! Which means you probably didn't see it. Introducing a new segment here on Me Mullet TV from the vaults, where I unearth old live footage. I was wondering if maybe you would do an improv scene with me. Sure. <laughs> Who am I improvising with? Colin! From whose line is it anyway? Yeah, that would be fun. Okay, do we need chairs? Do we need chairs? Okay, it's improv. We're planning. No, we're not planning. Okay, I'm not nervous. Hey. Hey. What would you like to ask for? Uh, um, uh, what would you suggest I ask? That's it. I would like to. Can we have? Thank me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so looking forward to this. <laughs> could I have um, a place, an unusual place where two people could meet? Dentist. A cemetery. A cemetery. A cemetery. Oh, okay. cemetery. Oh, that thought would be good for you, right? Why? Oh. <laughs> six feet under in your pole. Oh. No, I wasn't. Should I? <laughs> Think about it, Hank. All the people that come in into the mortuary, you know, potential customers and that. That's a certain percentage. But what about all the people already here? First of all, you can't think of the people who are coming in as potential clients. <laughs> to mourn the passing of a loved one. So you just can't think. Oh, for now. For I now. Mean, eventually we're all going to end up here. Exactly. I just beat them. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Why do we have to think about it? Let's just live in our nice little bubble where it's other people who are dying. Not us. I get it. Nice spade work. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you meant by I'm too odd. I'm, I'm too morbid. I think I'd, I'd remind people of the future. Yeah. And some of the tombstones you've engraved <laughs> just won't fly. Well, I thought instead of using fonts which were expensive, I could just chip it by myself. <laughs> yeah. This one, uh, you've pretty much chipped away the entire headstone. <laughs> There's just a little mound of granite crumbs. Yeah, well, uh, now it's not a tripping hazard. <laughs> <laughs> now there's more room for bouquets, which we also sell here, do we not? I have been, that's also a problem, I see that now. Yeah. <laughs> and side this epitaph you carved right there. Yeah, that was perfectly legible. Yeah, saw that coming. You <laughs> understand how that will not soothe the loved ones who come to remember. I understand, which is why I learned from my mistakes, and on this one I hear, I wrote, Look, there's a tiger! <laughs> I 
understand that we're all looking towards something that's coming towards us and we've never seen it before. <laughs> people know the metaphor, and especially I'm sure this person who's resting here didn't see the tiger coming. You're right, they didn't. It was a horrible, horribly violent death by tiger. You, you knew this person? Yes. I know everybody here in the cemetery. That's why I'm taking it a little hard. I'm sorry, you didn't realize that it's not just that you're not counting the people below the ground, you're not counting my people below the ground. This is the one place I thought I would fit in. I've tried to work other places. Shopping malls in 1979, there was a movie filming, they kicked me out. <laughs> That's a God of Dead reference. <laughs> Your words have touched my heart. <laughs> Sometimes I touch my own heart. I don't want to know <laughs> You're right, I guess I've been... I don't even know what the term is. Is it... It's not racist. It's... <laughs> Ageist, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I didn't, I didn't think it was anything as all heavy as that. I just... It's just that you're not here, I notice, too often. I'm here all the time with my people, which I don't want to leave, but it would be nice if you were here sometimes, too. Maybe I need a little direction. Maybe I need a little company. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll make you a deal. Oh, okay. Three days out of the week, I'll spend the day here with you. Wow, three days? Two. <laughs> okay. I'm off Saturday, Sunday. Do you want to come those days? Yes. <laughs> but then uh, I'd like to spend time with you. Maybe get to know you a little better, and maybe I could give you some of that direction you need. I've I mean, been around a while, but I've never had a mentor. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to mentor you as hard as I can. <laughs> First question. Yes. Could you help me with my shovel work? <laughs> sure, what's the problem? Well, I can't see it. <laughs> I enjoyed that, both doing it then and watching it again now. I have lots of things old and new waiting for you here at Me Mullet TV, so hit subscribe and I'll see you soon. I can't believe you weren't here. Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs>